Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of how to solve the Rubik's Cube using logic. This is the fifth and final part, which is solving the last layer corner pieces. So this is a two-step process. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the corners in their proper positions and then we're going to rotate them so that they're then solved and therefore the whole cube will be solved at that point. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to identify which corner pieces are oriented correctly. So how we do that is, I'll take this one because it is oriented correctly for example, uh, just look at the three center slash side colors around it and then if those three colors are on that corner piece then it is properly oriented. So basically it's in the right spot but if it's twisted it doesn't matter. So uh, there's yellow, green, and red and then on the corner piece there is yellow, green, and red. So therefore this one is correctly oriented. This one for example is not even though the yellow side is matching with it um, the red is not orange and blue is not green so therefore that is incorrect it has only one of the three colors it should have. Um, this one here is not either uh, same reason as that one as you can see this one uh, also is not correct because it has two of the colors as blue and it has yellow but it does not have red this is orange so we only have one now the possibilities are zero of them one of them or all of them so uh, I'll go over if you have zero um, later that's a pretty easy case but if you have one uh, for this algorithm that we're gonna be learning put it if you're looking at the yellow side put it in the bottom left corner right here so uh, First I'll do the algorithm and then of course I'll give some memorization tips. So the algorithm is R U prime L prime U R prime U prime L uh, U. So uh, that may seem kind of long and complicated but really it's not that hard. So what you can do is you can watch these two pairs. They'll be uninserted and then reinserted. And also, uh, it's just a bunch of U's and U primes split up by this, 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 and this. So the right side goes up, left side goes up, right side goes down, and the left side goes down. It's kind of a pattern. So uh, just you can kind of figure out some way to remember that, but uh, just watch. So right side goes up, gets pushed over, and the left side goes up. This pair gets pushed over, and at the same time, this pair is reinserted. Right side goes down, pushed over again, put this pair back, the left side goes down again. And then there's one extra U move at the end to properly match up the edges. So one more time, right side up, top side one way, then the left side goes up, top side the other way, right side goes down, top side the other way, Right, uh, left side goes down, top side the other way to rematch those edge pieces. So, um, you should only have to do that one or two times if you already have one piece. Uh, now, I don't have it now, so I'm just going to show you what it should look like. Alright, so this is uh, actually how it should look like, even though they're all rotated. Uh, if you just look at what I said before, they are all actually in the correct position. So uh, if you have none, which I'll go over right now, all you have to do is you just have to do it in any spot. So it doesn't matter which side, if you have none, just do the algorithm and you should get one matched up. So now check again, and yeah, so I have this one matched up now. And then I can just put it at the bottom left and then do the algorithm uh, one or two times depends, alright, I have to do it again and now I have all of them in the right spot so that's how you do it for zero so the final step of this process is we have to just rotate these corner pieces um, so then they will be all solved so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just be doing four moves over and over again pretty much um, and those moves are 
I'll use this cube. Uh, this, so that is R prime D R D prime. So once again, R prime D R D prime. I'm not really going to give any tips for this because it's only four moves. Um, you can figure it out. Actually, really all it is is right side goes down and back up and then the D side goes one way and then comes back. So you can kind of remember it that way. So, uh, now what I'm going to show you is we're going to be rotating this corner piece. So every two times we do that set of moves, so every eight moves, you'll notice that the corner piece comes back and is rotated in that spot. So I do another two times, it's rotated in a different orientation. And I do another two times, then it uh, goes back to its original orientation and also every six times uh, the first two layers resolves itself. So it should take uh, six, twelve, maybe eighteen times to do this, but any multiple of six total um, because it'll just return the first two layers back to normal. And then we're going to be taking advantage of how it rotates those pieces. So uh, pick a corner, any corner, uh, but if you have any solved ones, you might want to put them in the bottom left, or if you have two, put them like right here, so that you just do a U move to bring in the next corner piece. So you'll see what I'm talking about right now. So like this. All right, so I'm gonna have to do this four times for this piece, All right? Now don't forget that last D move at the bottom because if you do forget it, um, that will mess up your first two layers and you'll have to pretty much start over. So after you do that uh, either two or four times depending on the piece, now it's solved. Now we're not gonna rotate the whole cube because then uh, the first two layers will get messed up. So we're just gonna rotate the top instead. And that's just gonna basically replace this and now we're just gonna start rotating this. Now if I pause here, you can see the first two layers has come back to normal as I've now done it six times. But of course we haven't solved it all yet. So now I've done it eight times and now this is solved. So go into the next one, do it again. This one only took two times, all right. So that's 10 times total. Now we're going to go to this one, which is only going to need two times. And so that's a total of 12 times, which now the first two layers has come back to uh, solve position since it's a multiple of six. And then uh, all you have to do is figure out how to orient the last layer and you have solved the cube finally. So uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you out and uh, thank you for watching.